Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Katrina. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial and I am going to be showing you how I do these two Dutch braids. I really like braiding my hair up, especially in the summer, um, just because it's so hot and I really don't feel like doing anything else to my hair. Before we get into this video, I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification button so you're always notified whenever I upload. If you want to see how I do these two Dutch braids, keep watching. So number one, I am just going to put a towel around because if you can see I already got my shirt wet. And then I'm going to be putting a glove on only because I just got a tattoo recently or last week actually. It's been a week. So I don't want to get like, I don't really want to get it wet or like um, product and stuff in it. Okay. I just washed my hair. Um, usually like, like let's say I'm washing my hair and I'm going to go out. Usually I try to wait till my hair is not like dripping wet and then braid it. But um, if I'm just going to be at home, I'll just braid it and if my shirt gets wet, whatever. But um, yeah, I try to like, I don't want it to be, like, you don't want it to be dry, um, but you want it to be like not dripping wet so your shirt is not like soaked when you go out. After I wash my hair, I kind of just, I squeezed it out, all the excess water, and then um, I put some of this Maui Moisture uh, Detangler Leave-In, and then I just put some of this Brazilian Blowout um, Thermal Straightening Balm. I just like to put this in because I feel like it helps with the frizz. If this is something that you kind of want to last all day, you can definitely um, use like gel or pomade, especially in the front to keep all the baby hairs back. Um, I am going to be doing two um, Dutch braids going back. I know before I used to get confused like with the difference between French and Dutch. So if you don't know, French braids, when you braid it, the hairs um, overlap. And when you Dutch braid, the hair goes under. So I'm going to be doing a Dutch braid, two Dutch braids going back. So I part in the middle. Okay. I try to get like the part in the middle that you can, well, that I can see, I guess. I try to get it pretty straight. And then after, if it's kind of crooked, it's okay. Okay. Just kind of, you know, look in the mirror and make sure that your both hairs look even, both sections. Obviously look in the mirror while you're doing this, or sometimes I can do this without looking in the mirror, but obviously if this is your first time doing it, look in the mirror, it'll make it a whole lot easier. So what I like to do, look at your part and come down and make like a triangle shape. So you see how we have a triangle shape right here? Okay, all right. Also make sure you know you have no tangles in your hair, you are gonna freaking rip your hair out if you try to do um you're gonna rip your hair out if you try to braid it and you have tangles make sure you evenly comb through brush through your hair um and get all the tangles out before you do this okay so now you're gonna split the section into three as equal as you can get them this part can get a little tricky but once you um you know practice it a little but once you practice it a little bit it'll get easier so now i have three pieces right I'm taking the piece by my part, I'm putting it under the middle. I'm taking the piece um, by my forehead, under the middle, okay? The piece by my part, I am going to grab some hair, I'm going to grab some hair, add it to the piece by my part, bring it under the middle. Again, I'm going to grab some hair, add it to the next piece and bring it under the middle and you're going to continue doing that. So add some hair, add it to your piece, bring it under the middle. Okay? Add some hair. Bring it under your piece and go under the middle part. So the only thing to remember is just add hair, add it to the piece on the outer side and bring it under to the middle. Add hair. Bring it to the piece on the outer side and bring it under the middle. Okay? So, okay? And that's all you're doing all the way down. Okay. Let me just turn around so you guys can see. Once you do that, just kind of bring it to the front. 
And when you bring it to the front, you're most likely now the pieces are going to be in front of you and you'll be going over. Okay. Just get an elastic or anything just to tie up your hair. Sometimes I don't like using elastic, I'll use regular hair ties because sometimes the elastics break on me. So sometimes I use regular hair ties, but whatever you have, you can use to tie it up. That's how this side looks. All the hairs are insecurely. I don't do it super tight, but I just do it tight enough to where my hairs are not, you know, coming out of the braid. I'm gonna do this side. I'm just gonna quickly brush it. Right. Oh, my shirt got all wet. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Cut out this section, this triangle piece. Okay. Divide that into three equal pieces. Bring the outer side under the middle, the other outer side under the middle, and now you start adding hair. So add hair to the outer piece under the middle. Add hair to the outer piece under the middle. Add hair to the outer piece under the middle. And you just continue doing that all the way down. Has anybody seen Deadpool yet? We just saw it yesterday. It was so good. Oh my god. Now I can't wait for um, Ant-Man to come out. Let me turn around so I can show you guys. Okay. Let me to the front and finish the braid. So this definitely takes practice, like honestly, it took a while for me <laughs> to be able to do it for myself and for it to look okay. Like even now when I do it, I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of messed up sometimes. Not messed up, but just like, you know, not as even as it could be as if somebody else had did it on me. Um, now I know some people can braid their hair really good like on their own. I can't, only because my hands get tired <laughs> holding them up like that. So I like this because it's just quick and easy, especially when my hair is shorter. I like doing this style, like it's so quick and easy. It takes me like maybe less than 10 minutes and I'm done. I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. This is the finished look. Excuse my wet shirt. Let me show you guys how it looks from the back. I really like to do this style. It's really simple. It's perfect for the summer, especially if you have curly hair and you really just don't want to deal with it. And obviously, like, it's too hot to straighten it. Like, there's no point because your hair is just going to frizz up when you go out. This is really perfect for summer, especially if you're going to the beach. I cannot go to the beach and just leave, even leave my hair in a ponytail or even in, like, a bun because my hair will be a knotted mess. Like, I have to braid it or do something to it so that it won't tangle up as much. Like I said, like, it took time for me to be able to do it. So don't get frustrated. Just keep practicing um, and you'll definitely get it. Just remember, you know, take the three pieces, the outer piece goes under the middle, the other outer piece goes under the middle, add hair to the outer piece, go under the middle, add hair to the outer piece, go under the middle. Definitely practice it and you'll get it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other hair tutorials or any other videos in particular you want to see me do, just comment down below. Please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification button so you're always notified whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!